Hi everyone. So in lesson two, we had a look at beatboxing and I have learned some skills, guys. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Yeah, okay, so I'm not great at beatboxing, but I am gonna keep practicing and I have looked at the shape of my mouth in the mirror just to check that I'm making some good shapes. Today, we're gonna use some of that rhythm that we learned when we were beatboxing and we're gonna write a rap. I'm quite excited about this. Now, I know your topic is the blue abyss. And I think you've had a look at pollution and the damage that leaving rubbish on the beach and in the sea can do to our creatures and to nature and to our world. Um, so I know that it's something that's quite a big issue. And I don't know whether you've seen on the news recently, the amount of rubbish that's been left on beaches after lockdown has been really quite shocking. I've been quite upset seeing those pictures and I imagine you would have too because during lockdown obviously we couldn't go to the beach and then now that we're allowed to go people have just I think not been very sensible really and have gone to the beach and left their rubbish all over it. It's taken them hours to try and clean up to protect the creatures in the ocean and to keep our world beautiful and keep it as a safe place for everybody. You know there's loads of things that we can do to raise awareness about pollution and I think that we should use our voices and we should stand up and try and raise awareness of this issue and I know that you could make a poster, you, you may have already made a poster which is a great thing to do but what if we make a rap as well and we use music to try and raise awareness and to get people to stop leaving rubbish on our beautiful beaches to try and protect the creatures in the sea and look after our world. So I don't know if you know but in my spare time I write songs. So I'll often sit down at the piano and I would write some songs and when I'm writing a song I try and think about words that go together, or I put sentences together, I, I often use rhyming words. And I was thinking, it's actually quite similar. Writing a song is really similar to writing a rap, and writing a rap is really similar to writing a poem. Now when you write a rap, you, you can imagine the rhythm in your head, so you've got a little bit more of something that we call artistic license. That means that because it's an artistic thing to do and a creative thing to do, if you can make it work, you make it work. There's no rules to it really. Sometimes when you're writing a poem, you, if you're trying to write in rhyming couplets or something, you have to follow the same pattern. But when you're writing a rap, we can use our artistic license and just make sure it fits to the rhythm. Now, shall we have a go at writing a rap? together. We'll do it together and then maybe that would inspire you to maybe write your own rap at home or wherever you are. When I'm writing a song, I always think about what I want it to be about first. And we know that we want it to be about the beach. We know that we want it to be about um, limiting pollution and maybe what could we do specifically? I mean, if I think about the things that have upset me this week, it's about seeing the amount of rubbish on the sand. I'm just going to write some of these ideas down. I've got my notebook and I thought, right, let's call, I might call it the beach wrap. Call it the beach wrap and just put my ideas down. So uh, taking your rubbish home is a good point, isn't it? Um, protecting animals. Specifically, maybe turtles, um, and maybe even the seals that live in the sea. I've, I've seen some awful pictures of, of creatures getting tangled up in carrier bags. So I've seen carrier bags on the sand, carrier bags. I've seen plastic bottles, um, broken glass. bits of string. I saw a picture of a turtle tangled up in a piece of string and it was really, it was really upsetting and somebody just left that piece of string there and it's just easy for us to take it home, put it in our bags, take our rubbish home and then we know that it's, it's disposed of in a safe way, don't we? Right, so let's think, 
how do we start? I've got a few ideas down. It's a good place to start. I am going to use some rhyming words. I think I might try and write in rhyming couplets so that I have two lines that rhyme with each other and then I try again. So now, where can I start? I think that beaches are precious and I think it's really important to keep them clean. So that could be our first line. The beaches are precious. We have to, we have to keep, or we must, we must keep them clean. When you're writing a rap, if you're writing a poem, it, you need to get the flow right, don't you? And it's the same with a rap, you need to get a bit of rhythm in it. So I'm going to try rapping this. The beaches are precious, we must keep them clean. The beaches are precious, we must keep them clean. Okay, so that works. What could, what rhymes with clean? Mean? Foreseen? Well, seen is quite good actually. Seen rhymes with clean, doesn't it? So I couldn't believe some of the things that I've seen on the news. So you, what you would not, you would not believe the things I have seen. You would not believe the things that I've seen. Let's try those two together. The beaches are precious, we must keep them clean. You wouldn't believe the things that I've seen. Okay, that works. When you're rapping, you've got to get, you've got to make sure you've got a bit of that rhythm in. Okay, so the beaches are precious, we must keep them clean. You wouldn't believe the things I have seen. Let's go back to my notes. I've got a list of all the rubbish and things that I've seen on the beach. Carrier bags, bottles, broken glass. So let's put some of those in a bit of a list. Bottles, rubbish, bits of string. Let's do that. Bottles and rubbish and bits of string. Now, if I'm gonna follow my rhyming couplets, I need a word that rhymes with string. String, sing, wing, ping, bing. We could use that character of bing. No, that doesn't work, does it? Bing, thing, 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 thing. Bottles and rubbish and bits of string. I might carry on listing the things. Broken glass carrier bags and other things. That would work, wouldn't it? Bo bottles and rubbish and bits of string, broken glass, carrier bags and other things. Bottles, of, bottles and rubbish and bits of string, broken glass, carrier bags and other things. That works. The beaches are precious, we must keep them clean. You wouldn't believe the things I have seen. Bottles and rubbish and bits of string, broken glass, carrier bags and other things. Okay. Now all of these things, let's be honest, they should have been put in the bin, shouldn't they? And other things. So I'm kind of saying I've seen all of these things and, I've, and there's other things as well that should have been put in a bin. Well, that could work. We could follow the sentence on onto the next line. So it would say bottles and rubbish and bits of string, broken glass, carrier bags and other things that should have been put in a bin, not the sand. So that would come quite quickly afterwards. Bottles and rubbish and bits of string, broken glass, carrier bags and other things that should have been put in a bin, not the sand. Okay, sand, I need something that rhymes with sand. I mean, it doesn't always have to rhyme, you know that. When, we, when we're rapping, it doesn't need to rhyme. But I quite like it when it rhymes because it really helps us create a good rhythm, doesn't it? I guess the people, well, not the people, the creatures that we're so concerned about are the ones who live in the sea. And if you lived in the water, then you'd understand what it felt like. Understand. Understand rhymes with sand. Understand. So if you lived in the water, okay, if you lived in the water, you would 
understand. They should have been put in a bin, not the sand. If you lived in the water, you would understand. Okay. Let's just go back to my, my ideas that I had in the beginning. So I've got taking your rubbish home is still an idea. I've, I've used those bits. I've used the bits of rubbish. Protecting animals, especially turtles and, and seals, especially turtles. If you lived in the water, you would understand. The turtles are dying. The seals are trapped and alone. I saw a picture of a seal tangled up in a, a, in a plastic um, kind of loop thing that you put around drinks cans. So the turtles are dying, which makes me really sad. We've got to look after them because they'll become extinct if we don't. The turtles are dying. The seals trapped, that's what I saw, trapped and alone. I mean, under the sea, who's going to rescue them? I mean, di divers can go down and rescue them, but it's not very easy for the animals to help free each other from bits of rubbish, is it? The turtles are dying, dying the seals trapped and alone. And the, so I've got that bit, and the last bit I need is take your rubbish home. Oh, home kind of rhymes with alone, doesn't it? It's got the same kind of sound to it, alone home. So we could say, please, please protect our oceans and take your rubbish home. That's a good place to, start, to finish, isn't it? Please protect our oceans and take your rubbish home. There we go. Now that's a good start, isn't it? Now, I'm gonna put the words up for you. Have a look at the words on the screen. We're gonna try and wrap this together. Let's see, you've gotta get a bit of rhythm. Okay, so here we go then. Here's the, here's the words, you can see them, and here we go. The beaches are precious, we must keep them clean. You would not believe the things I have seen. Bottles and rubbish and bits of string, broken glass, carrier bags and other things that should have been put in a bin, not the sand. If you lived in the water, you would understand. The turtles are dying, the seals trapped and alone. Please protect our oceans and take your rubbish home. Oh, well done. It's quite hard, isn't it? Because you've got to say things really fast and you've got to keep that kind of rhythm going. So you've got to feel the beat that you're, that you're trying to rap to. Often people rap to the sound of a beatbox. So if you wanted to, you could pop back onto the last lesson and have a look again at Lysander's beatboxing and you could use, he did a minute of beatboxing, didn't he? You could use that minute and see if you can write a rap that goes with the rhythm of Xander's beatboxing. That would be really cool. So now we've written it, we need to know how to perform it really well. I want to introduce you to someone. This is a very good friend of mine. In fact, he's actually married to my cousin, so he's in my family. His name is Glenn. He used to be a professional rapper and he's got some really good tips for us when it comes to performing. Over to Glenn. Hi there, just three tips if you want to become a good rapper. Number one, excitement. When you're rapping, you want to give a bit of an excitement so the crowd feel like you know what you're saying. Number two, arm movements, body movements. Don't just stand there quietly. Move your arms, expression. And number three, your voice. Don't whisper, be bold, be happy, be smiley. Get your voice out there loud, different words, different expressions. They're the three tips. Weren't they some good tips? So number one, excitement. Number two, expression. And number three was using your voice. Now, I always think it's important to use your voice anyway. You can sing with it, you can rap with it, you can beatbox with it, you can do so many things, but you can also change the world with it. If you use your voice to stand up for things that are important, then you can change the world. And what if we could do that with our rap? That would be so cool, wouldn't it? I asked Glenn if he would perform our rap for us so we can watch him putting all his tips into practice and listen to what it sounds like when a professional rapper raps the words that we've written. Over to Glenn again. One, two, three, go. 
go. The beaches are precious, we must keep them all clean. You would not believe the things that I have seen. Bottles and rubbish and bits to string. Broken glass carrier bags and other things that should have been put in a bin and not the sand. If they lived in the water, you would understand. The turtles are dying, the seals trapped and alone. Please protect our oceans and take your rubbish home. So a big thank you to Glenn. Thank you so much, Glenn, for making our rap come alive. Isn't it exciting to see it? And to watch Glenn's excitement and his expression and the way that he uses of his voice, it really does make our point clear, doesn't it? Now, as I've said before, if you wanted to go back to some of Xander's beatboxing and try and write your rap over the top of that beatboxing, feel free, go for it. Write yourself a rap. See if you can write it about pollution, and or, or you can write it about anything you want to, I guess. But use your rap to make a difference in this world. And when you've written it, you might like to film yourself doing your rap and send it over, because we'd absolutely love to see it. I'm going to say goodbye in a minute, but I'm going to leave you with just one more point of inspiration. This girl is 10 years old. She's on The Voice Kids and she is an amazing rapper. She isn't much older than you guys. So I want you to be inspired by her. She is awesome. And it just shows you, just like Xander said last time, if you practice, you can get really good at something. And there might be some of you out there who are just brilliant at rapping and can really just get into the rhythm and feel it. So watch this girl, be inspired and enjoy. See you next time.